Max Gorf more than likely is moving on out. So, anyway, uh, on to the good stuff. So, I've been a little busy. I'm doing some buy listing, and we're going to talk a little finance today. I'm not a finance guy, so, uh, so we're trying to pick up some stuff, and, um, you know, my friend is getting out of magic, so I'm working on a deal of buying his collection. I just want to make sure I buy it for the right price. Because, especially with stuff with the cons, it's really on a down slope right now because so much was opened and prices are going down. But, I do want to talk about a few cards that I am specking on and didn't come overly prepared, so... And what I think that you need to get rid of. So, I will tell you one thing, a couple cards you should be definitely getting ready to get rid of. And they are... <coughs> Sarkin. Whoops, as I drop him. Come out. Sarkin. Uh, <laughs> he was $40. 40 Right? And let me go over here and look, because I'll tell you how much he is today. TCG mid, that is. Um, he's 16 TCG mid. A $24 difference in month? That's why I am as I get them I get rid of them because he's just dropping too much. I don't I don't foresee a upscale in him anytime soon. Modern season's coming around, modern masters too and all that stuff. Another card, um you know, as we're entering the new year I think that um be wary of that it might be probably gonna fall is Goblin Route Master. As good as he is as great as he is, that two toughness is really hurts him a lot. And I, 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 you know, he was up at twenty dollars and looking at TCG right now, <coughs> he's at thirteen dollars. So he peaked at twenty, and now he's under fourteen. So he's lost about six bucks over the course, of course, of a month and a half because he was around twenty bucks when I was in a GP Orlando. Now, one card I was specking on, and I told a lot of people, a lot of my inside friends, to pick him up and. At the time of this video, I can tell you right now, he is sitting at 350. Is this guy right here, Hero Virus? He's pretty friggin' good for what he does for a two drop. Um, or spells cost one less to cast. Heroic trigger whenever you cast a spell, put a one one counter on him. So hit him once, and he's already out of. Wow, brain fart. Trying to our ring. And you hit him with no spell, and then he's out of Bioblade range. So if you play him in a heroic deck, I know he's played a, a lot in blue white heroic. Um, definitely, definitely, if you can, I don't know. I think he's got a top add right at about six bucks, I think, before he goes back down, because he'll go out of rotation in September, so we still almost have a year, ten months or so. There's one card I like that. Um, really isn't seeing a lot of play of, and this is actually a pretty card, but, um, you know, Pain Seer, I, I like him, um, I, I think there's Mono Black out there to be built, um, I'm working on a Mono Black control <laughs> just to be a troll, and it's gonna be like the Spies, Thoughtseize, My Rots, um, cards along that line. And Fade Unraveler, it's an interesting combo, because you, if you can play like a red-black, you can generate or serve it into a turn 3 Fade Unraveler, and turn 4 Master to Feast, and then cast Sign of Blood on them, you basically are making them drawing cards and losing life, and they hit them with my route, so basically, you make them a draw, make them lose life, and then make them discard it. <laughs> it's pretty troll, so... It's something I'm working on. I don't think it's going to play very well, but I'm just going to play it. But um, I'm going to play some Red Black Aggro with Underworld Cerebus and um, some interesting things like that, you know, because with that two colorless mana, you can get him out pretty quickly. And, but if I do build Mono Black, um, I can do it. It's just going to take a little tweaking because Grey Merchant, even without Desecration Demon and Night Vale Spectre in the format and Underworld Connections, I think you could still do some damage with him, and a lot of people don't expect it, so I think it's going to be a little, interest, a little interesting. Um, 
I, I think there's going to be a mono black deck coming out really soon. That's going to be, um, I would say, almost like a mono black mid range because you can do it with Master of Feast. You know, you don't want your opponent to be drawing cards. But a five five on turn three is pretty disgusting. You know, it's just like you know the, um, the red blue artifacts. You know, with the turn two indestructible. Um, Five five flyers, uh, which is pretty obnoxiously annoying too. So I don't know. We'll see. You know, we're uh, getting pretty close. Uh, as you know, there was a new spoiled card today. I'm um, hopefully it's true because it's going to make Asban and Mardu a little bit more interesting. Um, so we'll see. Um, you know, but um, I you know really want to talk to everybody today. I have an idea, um, like an MTG stock market thing, and I don't know really how I want to do it yet, but I'm really thinking on how I want to do it. Basically, um, <clears throat> I must do like a Patreon or GoFundMe or, you know, I'll make a spreadsheet and, you know, I'll spec uh, when cards come out and new cards come out and what I think might go might, might go down and, you know, kind of play the finance game a little bit. Like I said, I'm not a finance guy, but um, I kind of have the gist about it, you know. The guy, local guy at my local game store said, if you could trade magic cards... And then if you could really determine and take that knowledge and treat it like you could on the stock market, you can make a lot of money. Which is true. I mean, there is money to be made, you know, but you have to have money to invest, too. So, I, I might try it, you know. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm thinking about it, um, how I really want to do it. So, um, you know, we'll uh, figure it out. When I do, I'll make a video and kind of explain how I want to do it and see if we can get some people interested, you know. If... You know, I'm here to have fun, you know, not make money, really. It'll be, hey, you, hey, Lord Artek, you know, I'm going to 10 bucks, right? And everybody gets 10 bucks, and then I go buy a bunch of cards, and then I flip them, and I make money, and everybody gets a dividend, like like they do in the stock market. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But, um, you know, I, um, later this week, um, Bad Wolf MTG is going to be sending me some mail, so I'm kind of excited for that. Um, I don't know if you saw her video that I sent her some stuff. I sent her a foil of Radical Mystic. I sent her a uh, Unglued, the full art forest, and I sent her a foil Savage Knuckle Blade. And she was really excited and she was very appreciative. Of it. And um, I did it because they were just sitting in my binder and I just wanted to make somebody else happy, you know. That's what I use from time to time. Um, I give some of my cards away. Not really a lot. I mean, kind of cheap. You should see how much it is in my binder and make a separate video. Of what's in my binders because I have multiple decks and every other thing running around so I know this is a little bit of a ramble but um I'm gonna cut it now um I thank everybody please like and subscribe you know I really want to get to 250 subscribers um sneak peek I just got three packs of Scourge they should be here hopefully by Saturday maybe Monday get a video in then I'm gonna try maybe do a Christmas surprise for everybody if I can um pull it off um I'm going to get some more packs of Conflux. I'm really looking for a lower one in the morning tide, but I don't really want to buy those off eBay because they've been really mapped um, for certain cards. So I'm trying to get some packs of Onslaught, some a lot of this older stuff, but, you know, it's hard to justify $25 a pack. Um, it's coming out of my own pocket, but I don't care because I do it for everybody. So um, this is Lord Artek. Please like and subscribe. Share my videos. Um, I am getting the Sony Vegas thing down. Slowly but surely, so I'm actually able to edit videos. Whoop de doo. So, alright, folks, this is Lord Artek here, and I will catch you guys very soon.